My name is Francis Kamau, the presiding leader of Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church and Cornerstone Projects all over the country of Kenya. We are standing here at Goirobi Deya, which is a semi-arid area where we have been doing various projects and activities due to your generosity. On my left here is Pastor Peter Chege, who is the presiding pastor of Cornerstone, where Cornerstone Grace Academy is located, and Cornerstone Projects in Goirobi Deya. And on my right is Teacher Anne, who has been the head teacher and the director of our library services right here in Goirobi Deya. Gorobi Deya is a semi-arid area. When it rains, the area is very productive, but it doesn't have ample rainfall throughout the year. And as you can see, one of our projects that we have done is to supply this area with borehole water. We'll take you through so that you can see what your fans have been doing to support the educational initiatives of Gurubi Deya Cornerstone Faith Assembly and Cornerstone Grace Academy. The GOATS initiative has benefited very many families, a child, a goat per child, and Teacher Anne and Pastor Chega will explain to us how many goats are here in the community, specifically how many families, and then we'll go to visit the families. Teacher Anne, how many families have received the GOATS through this GOATS initiative? Okay, thank you, Bishop. We have 45 goats we have given out. The, fam the families that we have are 45. Who do has the goats? Do we have other families who have not received the goats, and if so, how many? Yes, we have 35 families who have not yet received the goats. Okay, 35 families need goats. 45 families have received goats. Pastor Chege, can you explain to us where this small baby goat has come from and why? It has come from part of the families that have received the goats and uh, the reason why is because every family that receives a goat must give the first born of that family so that it may be given to another family. We have now come to the library which uh, Foothill Country Day School, Kenya Club, parents and friends have helped to build and here are some of the beneficiaries together with their teacher from a nearby school. This is Kawanda Primary School. My name is James Mushina, a teacher from Kawanda Primary School and I've come to this wonderful facility, this library, to bring the children here who are beneficiaries of this uh, great library. Uh, the library has helped us a great deal because we, uh, before, the, it was, before it was uh, built, uh, we used to perform poorly in the school. But since it came now, we have uh, actually improved our mini school in the school. The standard, the standard of education has improved a great deal. So we are very, very happy for this library and we pray that uh, it will continue so that they can help these children. My name is Judy Wagoy from Kelada Primary School. We are happy because of this library. Like on Saturdays, we came from 2 p.m. to, to 4. We are happy because we have even improved our marks. These are some of the best books we have in this library and they are very good in uh, syllabus, the Kenyan syllabus we are using. 
and uh, but we have very few of them here in this library. Our pupils are very many. They are about 79 in like class eight only, and so when they come here, they share these 20 copies each. There are 30 copies in each uh, each volume of a subject, each subject. So we need at least many books to cover these 79 uh, pupils when they come to the library. So they are, so we need at least 20 more. We need to multiply this number of these books. A humble request so that they can fit every pupil when they come here. Thank you so much. Thank you Foothill Country Day School, Mr. Mike Silva, the teaching staff, all the other staff, Kenya Club, and all others who support these initiatives. We want to say a big thank you. Thank you, Foothill Country Day School for the Good.